Welcome to Beyond Press Channel. Today we do long weighted car disc brake destruction test video. And we are going to use our YouTube car. It has seen better days and we decided that it don't need four brakes. <laughs> it's so slow that we can explode one brake <laughs> and still have a lot of fun with this. So we are exploding this brake over here. And because the lace that I use it on like bicycle brake video, it has only about 11 kilowatts and I calculated that isn't enough for car brake. So I decided to use car itself to spin the brake. This car has front wheel drive and no lock, locking differential on the front. So if one tire is up, only it's going to spin. So we are going to lift this up and take the tire off to, so you can see the brake. And then we are going to spin the wheel with using car's own motor. And I'm going to rev the engine up and use full throttle and then just brake, brake until the brake explodes, clutch gives up or engine brakes or something bad is going to happen. Mitä tapahtuu? Aa! This side was spinning more easily. There is... <laughs> Check this shit out. We were doing burnout on this side. So I made accidentally burnout on the left side tire, but I placed the steel part between the tire to prevent that happening again. And here is the same tire with thermal camera. So it is about 100 degrees or a bit less. Quite hot anyways, and you can see some rubber that is sprayed on the car. And Break is very hot.
Holy fucking shit! Yeah, this went really well. Holy shit! The brake disc is gone and the brake pads are gone also. So I have just checked that all slow motion footage is okay and it was excellent. And now it's time to inspect things a bit better. So it didn't melt, it like I think this was the first part to go and then after that it was quite well unbalanced and it stayed there for a while and here is the like centerpiece and this is very interesting I'm quite sure that this should be round and now the these screws are like buried itself to the brake risk disc centerpiece so that is quite interesting. And here is the thermal video about brake explosion. And unfortunately we didn't have our uh, camera set up to the high temperature range. So this is just from 0 minus 40 to 160 degrees of Celsius. So the brake is going to be over that all the time. But I think this is kind of cool. You can see a lot of different things that you couldn't see with the higher temperature because that is from 300 to 2000 so there isn't anything else than just the brake disc showing on that setup but now you can see the smoke coming out and sparkles dropping out of the brake and flames and stuff like that and I think the brake is going to explode quite soon Yeah, here, here it was, and now you can see the GoPro, GoPro burning on the lower side of the screen. And because I wanted to film that brake thing with the high temperature range also, we exploded the left side brake also after we done the right side, and here it goes. Now you can see the temperature range is from 300 to 1200 degrees Celsius and I think this took about as long as the right side but this time the brake actually didn't explode but we lost gearbox for some reason there was loud bang and the motor revved up and I was thinking that yes the brake exploded but then I came out of the my car and the brake was just fine and the motor was just fine so there was something exploded on the gearbox but I think this was about as hot as the brake that actually exploded Anni was looking outside of the car and he said that it's look at that it's going to explode at any moment and now it's going to reach its maximum temperature 
it was about 1100 at this moment when it stopped for some reason. And now it's started to cool down. But as you can see, you cannot see anything else than the brake disc and the pad. The brake pad was about 300 degrees Celsius, so that was also quite hot. is working and it sounds very nice. Yeah, but this was great success. Yeah, I think this was the craziest thing what we have made. Yeah, but maybe. Maybe. And this wasn't easy. Totally crazy. And this wasn't easy thing because first it didn't work and then that one piece of steel on the between that another wheel made the whole difference. First I, first I thought that if the one brake is like stationary, it's gonna hold by just the brake, but it didn't hold, but yeah. End but this is great success. Yeah, end result was great. And if you like it, the thermal camera image and you like brake test, we have new channel where we film everything with thermal camera. And we tested different bicycle brakes, just like in real life riding your bicycle down a hill, nothing like that, but it's still a great video, so go check that out, it's in the Channel end. Channel is thermal, guys. And it's in the end screen. Yeah, but I think that is all for today. Thank you for watching. And have a nice day. We have only one key here, and it's inside the car, and the doors are like this, so what the fuck. <laughs>